couple weeks ago, I had the opportunity to travel south and speak at a university-sponsored event that was based around moisture probes and technology that we could employ out in the field to help manage our irrigation. And to be honest, I felt like I left that day learning a lot more from the growers and the agronomists that attended that event than what they probably learned from me. And I left that with somewhat of a bewildered feeling and some real feelings of anger and confusion. I'm Keith Byerly, Precision Ag Manager at Central Valley Ag, and this is your precision focus that corresponds with the video on the CVA blog site. The whole reason that I left feeling that way was really because I couldn't quite believe the things that I'd seen. It was a little bit like I was in Back to the Future and I traveled forward to an alternate time to see what could happen. And what I saw on this trip was, I saw areas that were sitting on top of the Ogallala Aquifer where growers had exhausted 40, 50, even 70 feet of the aquifer and was no longer available to them. I saw places where pivots had been shortened by two spans in order to keep adequate water to continue irrigation. I saw areas where the soil was turning white because of the irrigation methods and the quality irrigation water that we have now in those areas and how it's going to eventually be a problem and what they can grow there. And all of this left me wondering, how could we get to this point? And really the crutch of that feeling came down to the fact that as we traveled around to visit the different vendors and learn different things at this event, the overwhelming theme of this was still from this group of growers, does technology play a factor in helping me be a better irrigator? And I said to myself, this is somewhat ridiculous. These guys are losing not only the amount of water they're being allocated on the water that they have, but they're also losing land value. They're losing acres and they're eventually going to lose crops that they can do because of irrigation availability. And they're still asking, does this make sense? I firmly believe that we're at the point where economics no longer play a factor in if we can use moisture probes and technology like that to be better at what we do. That time has passed, absolutely yes. When we can save one to two inches of water and pay for this technology, economics no longer play a factor in this. This is about so much more because whether I travel eight hours away or I'm eight minutes from home, we're all neighbors as far as society is concerned because we're sitting on top of the same aquifer and we're all going to be held to the same level of accountability. So today's not really so much about what my take home for you is. It's about what my take home from this event for me was. And that is, is that the moment in time has passed. We have to use the best technology that we have at our disposal. If we get rained out a couple of days during planning along the way here, or you get done, I behoove you to go talk to your FSAs and go talk to your ACS experts about moisture probes on your field because I'm no longer going to accept the fact that we can't afford to use these. After the things I saw on this trip, after the experiences that I had, the time has come where we can no longer afford not to use technology to be better at irrigation.